Hey there, I'm Travis Shields, creator of DIY Video Academy. And in this video, I'll show you how to quickly improve the quality of the videos that you're creating. I want you to see quality video as something you can do and do well, even if you're just getting started. The goal here isn't perfection. The goal is to get started creating videos that share your message in an engaging way so that you can promote your product, your program, your business in a way that converts viewers into customers. I'm seeing a lot of this kind of video out right now. People using their built-in webcams, no microphones, and a lot of ceilings. Let's take you from this to this. And this is only with three pieces of new equipment. Let me show you how I got here. Let's take a look at the five different areas that will help improve your video quality. The first thing is your camera. The webcam that comes built into your laptop is generally pretty bad. Level one would be upgrading your camera to a better webcam like the Logitech Rio. To look even better, you'd want to use a DSLR. I recommend the Canon 90D to my clients as of today. Uh, these cameras are constantly upgrading and they come out with new models every year. So it's hard to keep up, but you want a camera that has good autofocus, doesn't cost too much, and gets a nice image quality. There isn't one perfect camera out there that will do everything for everyone. So I always tell people to read reviews online, go into a pro camera store if you have one in your city, and get your hands on one and play around with it and see how you like it. Because, you know, there's a lot of different brands and they're constantly updating these models and coming out with new ones every year. So find one that you like and it's in your price range and the image quality is gonna look so much better. But maybe the easiest camera of all is the one that's already in your pocket. Your iPhone or smartphone, this camera is great. It has 4K, you can plug mics into them, you can control the picture. So if you're just getting started, consider using your iPhone. So are you a webcam person? Are you an iPhone person? or are you a DSLR person? It's really up to you which camera you use, but any small increment of upgrade that you can do over time will definitely help your professionalism and the way that you come across to your audience. So the next step is actually sounding good. Audio is just as important as video. If people can't hear you, then you're not gonna be able to communicate very well. If you're doing a lot of Zoom calls or recording with your webcam, I definitely recommend upgrading to a USB powered microphone like this Blue Yeti. There's a bunch of different brands out there, uh, but the sound quality is gonna be so much better than using your built-in audio that's built into your camera. Another option is to use a little shotgun microphone that will plug into your camera or your iPhone. They have plugs for both. Uh, this, this Movo microphone is really nice and doesn't cost a whole lot. Right now I'm filming in my empty office and I'm using my wireless mic pack, lavalier mic that's going straight into my camera and it gets really nice audio. Um, this office has really high ceilings so it's a bit of an echo in here. There's not much I can really do about that, but it sounds better than using no mic at all. Okay, third category is lighting. I can't stress this one enough. If you um, are filming in a darkly lit space, the video is going to struggle because it's straining to see you. It's going to be grainy and the picture quality is really going to deteriorate. So you want to create your own pocket of light. If you're filming in your home office, even a nice little desk lamp like this will work. Um, you can clip it right on and as long as you have a nice wash of light on you, you're going to look a lot better. Um, today I'm using a ring light and I have windows in front of me so I have a nice nice even wash so I don't have to worry about what the weather's gonna do. Let's talk about backgrounds. This is a way that you can really up the quality of your videos. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people filming in their home offices and the backgrounds can be distracting or cluttered and takes away from your message. You don't want people looking behind you and analyzing your bookshelf um, while you're trying to present. So a good way to clean up the background is to bring one in. There's a lot of different artificial backdrops online that you can bring in. I recommend the vinyl ones because they don't wrinkle as easily, but these are something that you can um, pin to your back wall, or you can use a stand like this and clip them behind you. So have fun with it. You can design your own home studio and create your own look. There's literally never been a better moment to go live on video than there is now. I recently read that 82% of people would rather see a live video from a brand than a social post. So 
There's a few options we can take a look at to see how you can go live. The easiest way to go live is from your phone. You can turn it horizontal or vertical depending on what platform you're going to. Uh, just remember to use that mic and your light and you'll look great. If you're wanting to take your live cast to the next level, you're going to need a piece of equipment to connect your camera into your laptop. And that'll allow you to connect your HDMI cord out of your camera into your laptop. I also recommend avoiding Wi-Fi for your live casts if at all possible. Use an ethernet connection and you'll need a little adapter to get it into your laptop. Uh, but a hardwired internet connection will ensure that your broadcasts stay at a very solid speed and you don't have to worry about your Wi-Fi cutting out. Be sure to check out Restream.io if you want to go live to multiple platforms. This will allow you to go to YouTube and Facebook at the same time and reach your audience where they are. So here's where I do most of my filming and this is what I've got set up. We've got a laptop with a Logitech Brio webcam set up on top. I'm recording into the Logic Capture software that you can see right here, which is cool because if you can take a look, you can customize a lot of different things, frame rate exposure, if you want to film in 4K or 1080, uh, depending on how fast your laptop is. So that's kind of my setup there. I'm using the Rode Podcaster mic uh, here, which goes straight into the laptop. And then as you can see, I've got this really cool bucket system. Okay, this is just two buckets I found here in the office that I had to get the laptop up because you want it higher so it's eye level, right? We don't want to be filming straight up the nose. Doesn't look great. So um, got to get that laptop up higher. So use whatever you have. Next up, we've got the ring light over here, which is crucial for great lighting is crucial for any video. Doesn't matter what format you're filming on. It's got a little slot right there where I can mount my iPhone right in the middle of this ring light, uh, which looks really cool and keeps it nice and out of the way. And I can just leave it set up there for any sort of iPhone filming I want to do. Next up is the Pocket Cinema 4K camera, which is a really awesome uh, camera where I can control all aspects of filming, including blurring out the background. And I've got a nice HDMI monitor up top so I can see my framing and see myself and check my energy level, make sure everything is, is great on that. Um, I'm using a wireless mic. I'm using the Rode Link uh, wireless mic for this guy and it's mounted right here, plugs right into the side so I can have a nice microphone that way. So three different options for uh, different budgets and different styles, um, but they're all gonna be better than the, the videos that I'm seeing out there with this guy right here. The built-in webcam right there, you see that little guy? Don't use that. Don't use that, guys. It's no good. Get yourself a better camera and your professionalism and quality of video will go way up. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it's been helpful for you guys. To download an Amazon gear list of everything I covered here today, go to travisshields.com forward slash success. See you guys soon.